Tonight's guest is one of the world's foremost human rights lawyers, a renowned author and a barrister at the Old Bailey. But he became a household name, putting Australia's best and brightest under the microscope on hypotheticals. Now you've got your constitution back. Are you going to leave it exactly as it is? Or are you going to make one or two of the changes that we've talked about tonight? You're the people. You decide. Hands up those who want to make some changes in it. I bet Albo wishes it was still that easy to change the Constitution. <laughs> we are delighted to grab him before he heads off on a national tour. Would you please welcome Officer of the Order of Australia, Geoffrey Robertson KC. <laughs> welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. Now, Geoffrey, as, as an overzealous high school debater, I was a dedicated fan of hypotheticals. And yeah, you must have been in short pants. I definitely Very was in short pants. Very short pants. But there is something that I have always wanted to ask you. Yeah. Geoffrey, <laughs> you had it all. A uh, hit television show on the national broadcaster, an adoring public, and ratings that anyone, including myself, would die for. <laughs> so why throw it all away? on something as frivolous as a career in human rights law. <laughs> it wasn't my choice. There are, <laughs> there are people you may have come across called ABC executives. Yes, best, um, they're my best friends in the world <laughs> if they're watching. <laughs> we got into the top ten, which, hypotheticals, was pretty good. And they said, we think the format is a bit jaded. We'd <laughs> like you to do a quiz show. I could have been the early Tom Gleason. <laughs> now, you are about to head off on a tour around Australia called How Do We Fix a Turbulent World? Do you know or are you asking for help? <laughs> I've got a few ideas. I'm following, <laughs> following Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I do. I genuinely think you teaming up with Taylor Swift, you could probably achieve just about anything. But if you look at the betting markets at the moment, Trump is the favourite to win the election this year. Now, does that concern you at the same level it concerns me? Well, it should concern Australia because Trump, uh, Trump presidency will be completely unreliable. And so our security will be in the keeping of a man who's quite a sociopath, I think. <laughs> so, um, where should we look? I think we should look to the European Union. I think we should apply for membership. <laughs> I mean, they, they let us into Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask you, are you optimistic or pessimistic about the future? I'm not as optimistic as I used to be. But I think there are ways forward, and we have to take them. The loss of Navalny was a tragedy. <laughs> what marked him out in the human rights world was that he had a great sense of humour. I mean, if Russia were a decent country, uh, he would be a late-night television host, rather <laughs> Now, I'm like not sure you. which fate I... would be worse, to be honest, <laughs> but yeah. And, of course, with the Zelensky, too, was a former comedian. Comedians are the future. Comedians are the great hope. Preach. Isaac. <laughs> preach, Jeffrey, preach. I tell, well, all I can say is, as a comedian, I'm glad I don't have the same job of Zelensky and Well, he, he started his career, you know, playing a piano with his penis. <laughs> and now he's the great hero of mm. the... The day. And many hope that one day peace will come to the Ukraine and he can get back to doing what he loves, <laughs> playing the piano with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do we fix a turbulent world? We'll be touring right around Australia. Would you please thank the wonderful Geoffrey Robertson? <laughs> thank you so much, Geoffrey. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you.